Reverse Flash, also known as Eobard Thawne, is a malevolent speedster from the 25th century and the arch nemesis of Barry Allen, also known as The Flash. He is infamous for his vindictiveness and relentless pursuit of making his rival's life miserable. Thawne's villainous actions include traveling back in time to murder Barry's mother and subsequently framing his father. This created immense emotional turmoil for Barry throughout his superhero journey. The Reverse Flash consistently posed a formidable threat to the Flash, exploiting his nemesis's reluctance to take a life. However, fate ultimately intervened, and Reverse Flash met his demise at the hands of another powerful being. In today's video, we will delve into the captivating story of the death of the Reverse Flash. The story begins with Batman meticulously examining a mysterious button that he had recovered from events that happened several issues prior. Unbeknownst to Batman, this button actually originated from the Watchmen universe, and its original owner was the vigilante known as the Comedian. In the Watchmen comic, the button holds great significance and serves as a recurring symbol throughout the book. However, despite Batman's efforts, he remains clueless about the true nature and purpose of the button. In a moment of carelessness, he recklessly tosses the button next to Psycho Pirate's mask, triggering an unforeseen reaction. A bolt of lightning surges from the button into Batman's chest, leaving him momentarily stunned. During his recovery, Batman catches glimpses of his father, Thomas Wayne, who was Batman in the Flashpoint timeline following the death of his son, Bruce. These visions are fleeting and leave Batman grasping at memories as they fade away. Confused and concerned, Batman contacts Barry Allen, also known as The Flash, to inform him about this strange phenomenon. However, Barry is preoccupied fighting villains on the other side of the planet and promises to join Batman in the Batcave in a minute. As Batman awaits Barry's arrival, he hears the sound of thunder, indicating the Flash's imminent presence. But to his surprise, it's not Barry who appears before him. Instead, the reverse Flash, Eobard Thawne, emerges and instantly launches an attack on Batman. Thawne makes reference to his death and resurrection during the Flashpoint timeline, and claims that the power of the button is summoning him. Despite Batman's attempt to ambush Thawne, the Reverse Flash anticipates the move and phases through him, countering the attack effortlessly. In the midst of the fierce battle, Thawne discovers a letter from Thomas Wayne, which Barry had brought to Batman from the Flashpoint timeline. Consumed by vengeance, the Reverse Flash angrily tears the letter apart as it reminds him of his own death at the hands of Thomas Wayne. This act deeply upsets Batman, but it also momentarily distracts Thawne, allowing Batman to land a surprise strike on his foot, momentarily incapacitating the villain, which allows him to land several punches on his enemy. However, Thawne quickly recovers and unleashes a powerful sonic wave, sending Batman flying across the Batcave. Confident in his superiority, the Reverse Flash taunts Batman, claiming that the Dark Knight stands no chance against him. But Batman reveals that his goal is not to defeat Thawne, but rather to buy time for the arrival of Barry Allen. Unfortunately, despite Batman's best efforts, the Flash arrives just a few seconds too late to save his friend from the brutal beatdown by the Reverse Flash. The villain viciously defeats Batman and then turns his attention to the mysterious button. As Thawne grabs the button, he suddenly gets teleported to an unknown location. Moments later, he returns with his body grotesquely mutilated, claiming to have seen God. In an instant, the lifeless body of the Reverse Flash collapses next to Batman. Barry Allen finally reaches the Batcave to find the bodies of both his friend and his nemesis lying on the ground, leaving him with many unanswered questions and a daunting mystery to unravel. Determined to unravel the mystery surrounding the button and the death of Eobard Thawne, Barry Allen conducts his own investigation. Through his research, he discovers that the energy on Thawne's lifeless body matches the energy emitted by the button. Realizing the significance of this connection, Barry delves deeper into the matter and learns that Thawne's manipulations extend beyond his own demise. Wally West informs Barry that someone has been tampering with the fundamental reality of the entire DC Universe. Preparing to embark on a journey through time and space using the cosmic treadmill, Barry Allen is interrupted by an injured Batman who insists on accompanying him. Despite Barry's initial disapproval, Batman's determination convinces him to allow his presence. Together, they enter the time stream, also known as hypertime. 
but find themselves caught in a turbulent time storm. Within this chaotic tempest, they witness glimpses of alternate timelines, different realities, and monumental events such as the crisis on infinite Earths. Eventually, the duo lands in a Batcave from the Flashpoint timeline, where Batman comes face to face with his father, Thomas Wayne. Thomas reveals that the Flashpoint timeline still exists, contrary to the Flash's intention of erasing it. He has been forced to endure the ongoing war between Aquaman and Wonder Woman's forces. Contemplating his situation, Thomas awaits the arrival of an Atlantean and Amazonian hit squad, planning to sacrifice himself along with them using explosives. In this somber moment, Thomas encounters the Flash and Batman, initially perceiving them as mere hallucinations. The Flash quickly briefs Thomas on their purpose and the dire circumstances they face. United, the trio fights against the approaching Atlantean Amazonian hit squad, buying the Flash valuable time to repair the damaged cosmic treadmill. As soon as the Flash completes the necessary repairs, Batman pleads with Thomas to join them on their journey. Thomas, understanding the importance of their mission, pushes Batman onto the cosmic treadmill, urging him to find happiness and be the father to his son that Thomas himself could never be. Thomas desires for the persona of the Batman to perish with him. As Batman and the Flash continue their tumultuous journey through the unraveling time stream, they unexpectedly come face to face with a revived reverse Flash, Eobard Thawn. Batman realizes that this version of Thawne is the one right before his death, as he still clutches the button in his hand. Concerned for Thawne's fate, Batman attempts to warn him about the imminent danger he will face. However, Thawne dismisses Batman's warning, claiming that he already knows the true source of the button's power. Confident in his newfound abilities, Thawne charges forward, boasting that he has never encountered anyone like him before. As they press on, the cosmic treadmill begins to crumble under the strain and Thawne unleashes a powerful shockwave that propels Batman and the Flash through the chaotic hypertime. Separated from Thawne, they find themselves stranded in the time stream, trying to navigate the swirling maelstrom of temporal energy. Meanwhile, Thawne reaches the origin point of the button's power and confronts the mysterious entity responsible for all the events unfolding. With an air of arrogance, Thawne gloats about his newfound power, proclaiming that he cannot be erased or defeated by anyone. However, as Thawne gazes upon the being's true face, a sense of terror grips him, and he begins pleading for mercy. In a swift turn of events, Thawne is disintegrated and abruptly transported back to the Batcave, returning to the exact moment where the story began. The button, now abandoned by Thawne, is suddenly picked up by a mysterious blue hand. To everyone's surprise, the owner of the hand is revealed to be none other than Dr. Manhattan, an immensely powerful being from the Watchmen universe. Dr. Manhattan, who had invaded and altered the main continuity, including killing the Reverse Flash, now holds the button in his grasp, further deepening the mystery surrounding his involvement in these events.